So I'm actually the first person to get my bachelor's degree in my family. For senior Macy Lockhart, she's also the first to receive something like this. On behalf of the admissions committee and the entire Wayne State community, I'm excited to offer you a place in the 2019 freshman class at Wayne State University School of Medicine. In a mission letter, she once dreamed of reading. I guess I've always been someone who wanted to dedicate my life, life to others. And now a reality. But that reality comes with a price. By the end of the next decade, the U.S. will be short of around 130,000 doctors across the country. And based on the limited access to primary doctors, people are relying on urgent cares and emergency rooms just for simple checkups. They can't just make an appointment with their doctor because there's, there's no doctors, basically. Besides for an aging population, the shortage of primary doctors falls on the financial burden for med students. Part of their decision regarding what specialty to go into is based upon their ability to pay back their debt. Sparrow Family and Medicine Dr. Randy Pearson says there's no secret. Specialty doctors receive significantly more than a primary doctor, up and over 100K more. But they really need to look at how they fund residency positions and maybe uh, put more preference to funding primary care spots. An issue Macy is ready to take on. These people really need someone, and I, I guess I felt like I needed to be that person. In East Lansing, Kendall Ashman, Focal Point News.